Hey everyone, what's going on? Love Willie here with Mascot Media. You bringing you the next tutorial. We know you like to watch the product proofs tutorial. This is a key for those schools um, throughout our network that utilize our posters, tickets, any print product that we do for you. This is the area where you need to go in order to proof your product, send revisions, and approve in order to receive your product. So today we're going to get into that. Very easy, very straightforward. We're just going to go through it really quickly. So let's get into this. Product proofs are located in the quick link section on your my.mascotmedia.net account. The quick link is on the left hand side. If you have not watched our CMS tutorial part one and part two, do that by going to mascotmedia.net slash tutorials and check out all of our tutorials from online camp registration, how to enter final scores, and the CMS tutorials. Very helpful and will give you the best tools to fully utilize your sports network. Now back to figuring out your proofs. Quick links on the left hand side. Go ahead and scroll down or click down on product proofs directly under users. Once you do that, a new window will open up showing you all of your current product proofs that are issued out for you. So first, we're going to go through um, what all products are currently here. I'm on Greenfield High School, and if you notice, we have their sheet tickets, we have their pass cards, stack tickets, parking permits, and posters. So that's all here right now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through what we want to do if we approve the poster or parking permit whatever it may be it's all the same and if we don't like it and we'd like to send revisions so we're going to use posters for the approval process so if you want to view your product simply just click over the image you can do that for any of these options so I'm going to click on posters once I've clicked on the poster you then have the ability for your product review this is where you can zoom in Use your magnifying glass to kind of browse through and see all the ins and outs of your poster or product, whichever one it may be, even down to the ads. You know, we got Pokemon right there, Southern Food, yada, yada, yada. If you don't like the magnifying glass, a hotkey that you can do is Control Zoom, or simply just use your magnifying glass located up in the top right if you are a Windows user. Uh, it should be around there. Usually, Control Z uh, or Command Z for Mac users. It's similar in some ways, uh, but for Windows, you can use the magnifying glass on Google Chrome, uh, the little magnifying glass, or you can just use the magnifying glass here. So once I've done all my revisions, it's kind of browsed through, and it looks good to me. You can scroll down from the product review, and you'll see your approval deadline, who the proof, when the proof was emailed, and who the proof was emailed to. Once you've done that, if you think everything looks good, then click the green approve proof button located at the top, I mean the bottom right hand corner. Once you've done that, you will receive one more notification, a little pop up screen saying, please confirm, just reminding you that if you approve, this will send your approval message to our mascot media team to go ahead and begin printing of your product. So I'm going to go ahead and click approve, and it will let the team know their poster has been approved. Once you've done that, it will bring you back a list. Oh, one last thing to keep in mind, whenever you approve a product, if you want to make sure if you have your secretary or whoever it may be that's managing this, uh, just keep in mind the yellow proof sent means that this proof has been sent to your email for you to view, so you can view it now on your my.mascotmedia.net account. Once you have clicked approve, you'll notice that it is now green. It just says approved. That way you can kind of keep track for yourself of what you've approved, what you've not approved. And this is going to come into play right now as we talk about revision. All right, so we've gone through the approval process. Next up is revising your product. So this is also a same process in terms of approving, but it's a little bit different because you got to give your reasoning on why you want to get revisions. So today we're going to use the pass card thin, the fall 2018. So similar to what you did for approving the product like we did for posters, just simply click on your product and it will redirect you to the screen where you can kind of zoom in, look at the product, and all of a sudden you look at it and you say, oh, that logo is the incorrect logo. So what you need to do in this instance is instead of clicking the green approve proof button, simply click the blue request revisions button directly next to that in between back to products proof list and approve proof. Once you do that, you will then be redirected to a screen for the reason that you're requesting revisions and then your comments. 
always be sure to leave comments that way the reviser knows exactly what they did um, and what they need to fix in order to make sure that your proofs are what you are wishing for. So in this instance, we're going to please choose the reason and we're going to say the um, uh, other and just say incorrect logo. In this instance, you cannot attach an image um, throughout this revision, so you will have to send your logo um, or image through revisions at mascotmedia.net, which is below here, uh, so please send that email to there. Once you've entered in your reason and your comment, you can choose anything from this array of options, misspelling, incorrect or missing image, wrong color. I'm actually going to put that under that category. Um, once you've done that, just simply click the green submit request button. Once you've done that, you will notice that what was once a yellow proof sent button is now a red revisions requested button. So that way, whenever your proofs have been resent to you, it will show the yellow proof sent or orange, whichever one. If you're colorblind, it's okay. So also keep in mind what you will need to do if for some reason the email has been sent to you that your proofs are here and you're not seeing that on your side, be sure to log out of the system and log back in. If that doesn't work, be sure to use the hotkey shown to the right here to clear cache on your computer, simply clicking Control F5 or Command F5 for Mac users. That way you can just refresh the screen and that 100% of the time, 99%, I'll give it 99%, clears up the issues. So log out, log back in. If that doesn't work, clear cache on your computer, Control F5, Command F5. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial video. If you have any questions about this, any other part of this, or just call us. We like it. Give us a call or send us an email at schools at mascotmedia.net, and we'd be more than happy to assist you. Thank you.